Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Peachy and this channel is all about my Sylvanian Families collection. For today's video we're going to be unboxing this set here which I got quite recently. This is the freshly made hamburger wagon or hamburger trike as I think we've been calling it. Um, it comes with a figure, this is the latte cat father whose name I believe is Matteo. It comes with lots of accessories that you can see up here and the wagon itself or the kind of food stall cart kind of folds out and it's just a really cool design. This set came out in Japan in 2023 and it's due to get a worldwide release at some point this year, 2024. So we're going to open up this box and then I'm also going to have a look at some of the other hamburger themed items that have been in the range previously and also set it up with the delicious donut wagon uh, which I unboxed recently on the channel as well. So taking a quick look at the box, it's got kind of an awning, pink and light pink detail up here and the same pink brickwork I think as the delicious donut wagon had, so they kind of look like they go together. Obviously you've got this big window here where you can see all the contents inside and then here is a setup image of it all folded out and with some customers enjoying their burgers. I like this feature where you can kind of build your own burger. On this side we've got bio about Matteo, the Latte Cat Father, and here it shows other sets that this could go with. So it's got the ice cream set and the popcorn trike, and it looks like one of the amusement park buildings in the background as well. So I think this is kind of marketed to go with that amusement park range. On the back we've got that setup image a bit bigger. This is so cute. I love the little burgers that have the kind of animal ears on them but we'll get more into that in a minute. And then here we can see some of the play features. So we've got a grill, we've got a deep fryer for the chips, we've got a to-go box, and we've also obviously got the trike and the wheels should turn around looking at this image. Then got all our warnings on the bottom. There's some contact details and things, but nothing exciting. On the top, it's showing you that you can either have the trike standalone or it can tow the little burger when it's all folded up. And then on this side we have everything that comes in the set. So we've got the larger pieces, the figure, and all of the smaller pieces. So let's go ahead and get it open because I'm really excited to see kind of how the burger folding out works. And here's everything out of the box. I find that the new box is quite difficult with all the kind of twist ties and the plastic that they're putting everything in. It's not as easy to unbox it on camera as it's super fiddly. So I've gone ahead and unboxed it off camera so you didn't have to watch me struggling with that. If I pull the camera back a little bit, we can have a look at the box inner. So this is very, very similar to the one that was on the inside of the delicious donut wagon. Again, it looks like a photograph rather than a drawing. And it's got these cute little houses which look quite like star homes, just in all these bright colours. And then, yes, everything looks like a photo, including this cobblestone path and these little planters. So that's quite cool and a bit different to what we usually see. And then on to the actual items themselves. So you can see all the little accessories here. It looks like we've got one sticker to put on for the sign. We've also then got these quite detailed instructions for how everything is going to work. So how you unfold everything, those little poles are used to hold the canopy up, how the table works, how everything folds out, and then also how you can attach uh, the bike to the burger to tie it al uh, to pull it along. And then also where you can store these other bits and pieces. So it looks very detailed and a bit more complicated than we're used to. But let me go ahead and try and get everything set up.
So here's everything all set up. I love how it all looks together. The theme is just really whimsical with this burger shaped stand and the shoe shaped table and these little tomato shaped chairs. The table's really sturdy. I was a bit worried about it being wobbly, but it's actually very sturdy. The accessories are all nicely made. The quality of the plastic seems quite good. I particularly like the artwork on this little sign. The words aren't readable, but I love the drawings of the burgers especially, I think they're very cute and it quite clearly shows what's on the menu, drinks, chips and burgers. That artwork matches on the sign just up here as well and this sticker was pre-applied as was this one so the only sticker I had to put on was on the sign over here. The burgers themselves are absolutely adorable, I will just grab two to show you. So I've got the cat and the bunny ones here absolutely adorable the details really nice they look quite realistic but also very fun with the special shapes on the buns and they're also different so this one is just vegetables and this one has some sort of uh, patty in it I'm guessing it's vegetarian considering the Sylvanian palette there's also a little bear one which is very cute and a half eaten one with a nice big bite taken out of it so that's going to look great for setting up in scenes there's two sizes of drinks so we've got a large and small and they've got different cups and they have the holes on the back so that the Sylvanians can actually hold them no stickers on these these details are painted on which is quite nice on the chips, you've got the holder and also the separate chip piece, which just slots in there. I think these again look quite realistic. It might have been nice to have a sticker of some sort of logo on these packets, but I think that's quite a minor complaint. I also like the kind of to-go box. Very practical, easy to use, and it's got a nice big handle, so the Sylvanian can hold it. Show you with Matteo here, he can hold that quite easily. Whilst we've got him here, here is Matteo the Latte Cat Father. He's got a very cute uniform. I love the little stripy apron, I think the colours look really nice all together. And he's got his little matching visor which goes with the red on his shirt. His uh, uniform reminded me of the uniforms from the Brick Oven Bakery. So I've got the Bramble Father here in that uniform. He's from the Pizza Delivery Bike. But I thought these uniforms looked quite similar. Definitely similar colour palettes. They could almost be working in kind of adjacent businesses. I like the till piece. It's nicely detailed and it's got a cute little bear or cat shaped button on it just here. Oh, and now I've knocked everything down. It's always very annoying when that happens. Whilst I'm picking it up, I'll bring it over here to show you. So here, here are the deconstructed burger pieces. So we've got tomato and lettuce here and a little flag that's going to hold it together. Then over here on the grill is the patty and the two bun pieces being toasted. There's a tiny salt shaker or some sort of seasoning. See it's got some nice detail on the top but again this probably could have benefited from maybe a sticker just to make it a little bit less plain. And also a bottle of ketchup. It's very obvious what this is but again a sticker might have been nice just to make it stand out a bit more like we're used to with some of the older sets. We've got a deep fat fryer over here for the chips that has a pre kind of carved out section that it goes in and then we also have this little kind of chips to go holder that would fit around probably one of the baby figures and again it's kind of this animal shape with the ears on the front and the chips just sit in there quite nicely. I like that everything has kind of a place where it slots in or fits. 
I like how the colours are all very matchy matchy so it all looks great together. I love Matteo's uniform, I think it's very very cute. The bike itself is quite nicely detailed. So if I bring it a bit closer, you can see it's kind of got this leather effect seat and the wheels are a different colour and they do spin round. On the front we've got brake lights and then there's also space here for kind of a light. I'm presuming this would be a light. It would be nice if that was yellow in the middle there. But the handlebars are a different colour and it does have a nice um, speedometer sticker on there. I like the design on the box, opening it out, it's very spacious. Got a fun number plate on the back. And this part does actually come off, so if you wanted to, you could use this bike for other purposes and putting other things on the back here. Then obviously it's got the pieces underneath to hold those poles and also the sign, which I thought was quite clever in how it can all pack away nicely and fold up small. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with this set. It's very, very cute, very whimsical. It's quite different to the other burger sets that have been in the range that we'll have a look at in a minute but I think it benefits from that and I think it gives it kind of a selling point for why you would want this one uh, as well as one of the other ones. So in the range we've had a few kind of fast food pizza kind of things but if we're looking purely at burgers and hamburgers then the oldest one I could find is this from 2006, the Hamburger Wagon which also got a UK release. I have this one so I'll bring it up and we can actually have a look at it in real life. And then the other hamburger related set that I could find was this one down here. Which is the hamburger restaurant and I don't have this one in my collection so I can't show you this one up close. But I'll see if I can pop some pictures here of the kind of accessories that it came with and also the interior. Again this looks very cute. Both this one and the hamburger wagon look a bit more realistic whereas obviously this one as we've already said is a bit more whimsical and looks more like it belongs in a theme park so I think that really works to its advantage. But let me get the hamburger wagon and we can have a look at that one. So here they are side by side and you can see they've got quite similar theming in terms of the colour palettes used. The hamburger wagon has quite a lot more accessories. However, there are different varieties, so there's burgers, there's also uh, kind of bagels and croissants and then sandwiches and hot dogs as well, so it does a bit of everything. It's got the same kind of idea for the grill and the deconstructed burger. This one comes with a drinks machine and ice cream machine and some ice creams as well. There's also some fruit and cups and things and this one also folds away with the lid coming down and also folding out to be a table and chairs on the top there with a little ladder that you can go up to. I've done a full video on this set on the channel so I'll link it here in case you want to have a closer look. But in ideas wise both of these are quite similar in the accessories that they're including. This one has quite a few more pieces in terms of paper pieces like there's some napkins here and menus and things like that. Um, it also has ketchup and mustard bottles and they have stickers on telling you what they are. But I think where some recent sets we've seen quite a stark contrast with the quality compared to older sets. I think this one is a lot closer in quality. They're obviously hitting different kind of ideas for when they would be used. This is obviously very theme park themed, on the go, kind of set up, pop up and pop down. Whereas this is a more, it feels like more of a static kind of stand where it could be moved if you wanted to, but probably more likely it's going to be set up somewhere for a longer term. So to finish with, I'm going to pop this one away and get the delightful donut wagon out so we can put them together because in my mind they fit so perfectly together with the food shaped vehicle theming. So let's go ahead and do that.
So here's the little setup that I've made. So I've got the Latte Cat family visiting their father and little Pino there has some fries in a little souvenir box. Then I've got two mums having a meeting here or a lunch out and they've brought their babies along who are having the kid size meals and then they've got the adult size. We've also got this little hound dog baby having a snooze. And then I've added in the delightful donut wagon which looks absolutely perfect with this burger trike set. And the Midnight Cat family are here having some donuts and lattes and the Maple Cat family are putting their orders in with Mrs Willow who runs this store. I think Mrs Willow and Mr Latte would be kind of great friends and maybe this is a kind of partnership venture they've got going on. So you can get your kind of main meal over here and then go and get a dessert as well. So that's all for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this new set with me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye for now.